If you start noticing aphids on your early season plants and you want to maintain an organic garden, you may wonder what your options are. Now, personally, I don't like to spray anything for my aphids in my garden for reasons I'll share with you at the end of the video. But there are cases where you may need to look at other controls. I have decided to test three different common organic aphid control measures to see which ones worked. First, I tested a homemade insecticidal soap spray made with water and one tablespoon of Dr. Bronner's peppermint castile soap. Now you can use regular castile soap as well, but I had read that the peppermint can also help with aphid control. Next, I tried neem oil. Neem oil is a very common recommendation for aphid control and other pest control in an organic garden. And I used 100% cold pressed neem oil mixed with water. And I also added a few drops of unscented castile soap to help as an emulsifier so that the neem oil could get blended with the water. And finally, I tested earthworm castings. I added one tablespoon of earthworm castings to each plant. I conducted this test inside in my grow room where I had my peppers growing under lights. I did this partly because I didn't want to have any outside forces such as predatory insects that are very common in my garden skewing the results. Because of this, I feel like I was able to produce a test that showed the individual benefits and drawbacks of each one of these organic aphid control methods. Come with me inside my grow room and see the results for yourself. So the first one was castile soap that I sprayed a mixture on here and you can see a little bit of the aphids still left but they're not living so I think they're pretty much all dead so that seems to have worked. The worm castings was something new to me but um, someone told me that if you add worm castings to the soil the plant will take it up and then as the aphids feed on it it will kill them. So as you can see there are quite a few aphids on here and I think quite a bit of them are still alive so this may actually take a little bit longer but it looks like several of them are not alive anymore. That's really interesting. I'll be curious to continue to check on this because it's only been one day later and you can see that I don't see any movement here, maybe just a little bit. So we'll keep an eye on that. Okay, and the third one is the neem oil. Looks like this is similar to the one that I sprayed castile soap on because I see a lot of the aphids here, but I don't see any movement. So it looks like maybe they are dead too. The first test was with castile soap and in looking at the where the aphids were, I don't see any activity of any aphids living. So that's really good. The only thing that I see here is a little bit of curling up on the leaves that may have damaged the leaves a bit, I'm not quite sure. The second one was worm castings and I added worm castings to the soil. And all I see here is a bunch of dead aphids. There might be some that are living, but from what I have read, worm castings have a chemical in them that is detrimental to aphids when they eat it so the plant takes it up so that's pretty amazing. The next one is neem oil and again like the castile soap you see um, not really any evidence of any aphids here so it seems like that worked just as well. Again I noticed a little bit of curling in these leaves and I did add a tad bit of castile soap to the neem oil mixture to help disperse the neem oil so I don't know if that maybe that made a difference in those leaves but again you can see here that there's just not really any living aphid activity. All those look to be dead. So that's pretty incredible. And then here I have the control peppers and these are ones I didn't spray at all. And if you look at some of these flowers here, it's kind of hard to see, but this one right here, you see these are covered with aphids and they are living. They are alive and kicking. And so it shows there wasn't any outside force that would have caused all the aphids to die. So definitely looks like the neem oil, the worm castings, and the castile soap have been helpful in getting rid of the aphids on these peppers.
As you can see, all of these methods worked well. The homemade insecticidal soap, the neem oil, and the worm castings all effectively got rid of the aphids on my plants. And I ended up taking my peppers outside and the control group, the aphids were crazy on them. So I ended up adding worm castings to them as well. And the same thing happened even outside, the aphids died on the plant. So I was able to replicate that result. Now I mentioned at the beginning of the video that I don't like to spray anything inside my garden. And the reason is because even organic ways of controlling methods, specifically the insecticidal soaps, whether you do a homemade or you buy a commercial blend, they can kill off your beneficial insects. Ladybug larvae, surfed fly larvae, lacewing larvae, they are all on the hunt to get rid of aphids for you, but they are soft-bodied insects just like the aphids are. So many of these controlled sprays will actually kill the good guys that are trying to take care of those aphids for you. In my garden, I noticed last week that I had a tomato plant that had a lot of aphids on it, but I also saw two adult lady beetles. And not it wasn't long before I noticed that the aphid population had decreased dramatically. So for me, unless it's an absolute, I'm gonna lose the plant if I don't do something, I like to let nature take its course. I like to refrain from spraying anything in my garden unless absolutely necessary. I plant flowers to attract those beneficial insects. And what I've noticed is that even when I do have aphids in my garden, they don't overrun my plants. But after this test, I know that if there did come a point where I had to step in, I would start with the worm castings. They seem to do a great work and also they didn't damage the plants like the other ones did. I'm Jill McSheehy with journeywithjill.net and also the host of the Beginner's Garden Podcast. For more information on my test, this experiment, more information on beneficial insects and how you can attract them to take care of the pest issues in your garden, I hope you'll join me at the Beginner's Garden Podcast. And above all, I hope this video has been helpful for you in deciding what to do when you spot aphids in your garden.